In this video, we're going to look at a way that you can create an opening in a mesh without having to use the cutoff tool. The cutoff tool is pretty nice for many things, but there are certain circumstances where it may cut through or uh, cut at a depth that you may not want. So an additional tool that you could use to create an opening is the paint hole tool right here in the adjust section of your tool panel. And as the name implies, you can paint the area where you want to create the opening. So let me just do something very quickly on the bust with this ellipse. Click and drag. It's going to create this selection. And now in the tool options panel, I have the ability to remesh the cut area. Just go ahead and apply the cut. Uh, I can modify the selection if I need to contract this selection or expand it. Modify it that way. Contract, modify. I'm just going to undo. And the higher the resolution, the, the cleaner that's going to look. But uh, let's just go ahead and cut area exactly. And there you go. Very easy. Let's choose remesh cut area. So I hit apply. And when I zoom in and hit the W key to turn wireframe on, you can see what it did. So let me turn that back off. And where this might be practical is, for example, if you start off with a preset object like this or a very uh, primitive shape object, you can just paint areas for your eye sockets your mouth cavity and so on. So let me turn the wireframe off temporarily hitting the W key again. So let me hide the eyes, the ears. And so I could just paint an area if I want with a brush or I could use a close spline tool. Let me turn symmetry on. I'm going to right click to harden the points. I hit escape. Right click on it again until it's a hard point there. And probably with a mouth cavity, it'll probably be a very small, very slight opening. I'm going to harden this one as well. Right clicking. So I'll hit enter to go ahead and apply the selection. And I'll hit escape to drop that spline. And I can see it's a little bit rough. So what I'll do is just hit Control D to deselect, which is the same keyboard combination, Photoshop to deselect. And I want to increase the resolution on this layer. So I'll click on the increase res icon. I'll look at it with my wireframe. It looks fine. So we'll try it again. I could save that spline if I want to quickly get back to it. Escape to finish the initial creation of that spline. And apply. Escape to drop the spline. And there you have it. A very quick way to create holes with a little bit more precision than the cutoff tool sometimes. So hope you found it helpful. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.